Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about how you can invoke a Jenkins build job remotely using a remote Jenkins build job trigger. To trigger a Jenkins build job remotely, the first thing you need is a Jenkins build job to trigger. So I'm going to create a Jenkins freestyle project called Trigger Jenkins Remotely. You could create a pipeline project, a Maven project, a multi-configuration project. This is just the easiest one to create for demonstration purposes. Now you'll see that at the top here, there's an option for build triggers. That's where I want to go. And you'll notice there's options to trigger builds remotely, build after other projects are built, build periodically, use a GitHub hook trigger, or even pull the source code management tool. Now I want to trigger builds remotely in Jenkins. And so that is the box I'm going to click. By the way, if you want to use GitHub to trigger your Jenkins build, you have to use this GitHub plugin and you have to use the GitHub hook trigger. Otherwise, you will get a 403 error and that GitHub 403 Jenkins error says something about no crumbs in the request. So if you get a 403 no crumbs request, you're using the wrong mechanism. So here I say trigger build remotely. It asks for an authentication token. People wonder if this is OAuth, some secret configured in a credential store. Where do you get this token? Well, you get it from your brain. It's just something that you type in there. It can be any value that you want. And as an homage to Michael Jackson, I'll do A, B, C. Now I'm almost ready to actually invoke this Jenkins build remotely. I'm going to click apply and I'm going to click save just to commit things. I'll even do a, a quick build now just to trigger this off locally so I can get a timestamp. There's 453. But I'm going to do go back into configure and just take a look at this Jenkins build trigger one more time. Notice it says that the URL to invoke this is Jenkins URL slash job slash trigger Jenkins remotely slash build question mark token equals token name. Well, we know the token name is ABC123, so I'm going to paste that in here and change that token name, ABC-123. And the Jenkins URL is, well, that's the IP address of my Jenkins server, so I can paste that in there. And now if I click return, notice 1154 is the timestamp on my computer. If I come back here into trigger Jenkins remotely, you notice that we've now got a second build happening and that's at 454. I guess that's where my AWS server is located. And so now I've successfully triggered this build remotely. Now, I should say that I'm going to copy that URL. This is working because I've already logged into Jenkins. I have a feeling if I went into an incognito browser, it might not work. For example, I'm going to open up Bash here. You might want to just curl that URL. So if I do a curl dash I and then paste in that URL, you notice that I get a 403 forbidden error in the Jenkins remote build invocation. So if you want to avoid that, you've actually got, you've got to pass in your credentials and you can just do that by prepending your username and password to the Jenkins URL. So watch this, I'm going to do a curl dash I again, and then paste in my URL, but put my username and password before the GitHub remote trigger URL, click enter, and now you'll notice I get an error code in that 200 handle. I get that 201 created error code that we've successfully gone over to Jenkins. Notice that it even responds back to us and say, hey, yeah, you know, we've queued this item up and it's gonna run. My time is 11.55, so I bet you if I go back to this server, maybe click refresh, you notice that I've got this build that just happened from that remote invocation at 11.55 or 4.55 on the AWS server's time. This is a server running on AWS and it's a fresh Bitnami Jenkins install. So once again, thank you to Bitnami. They're always there for the rescue. And there you go. Just looking at the configuration once again in build triggers. That's the key. Now, again, I just want to emphasize if you're trying to use GitHub, you have to use the GitHub plugin in order to do a remote GitHub invocation of Jenkins on a push or a commit. Uh, that means going and configuring a GitHub web hook for Jenkins and then clicking on this option. Uh, do not use the trigger builds remotely with GitHub, otherwise you will run into that 403 no crumb in the request error and that's not a good way to start your day.
So that's how you get a remote Jenkins build job trigger to work. Now, just something to keep in mind, this won't work with GitHub. So you gotta have a GitHub web hook to make that happen. But anyways, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Jenkins, GitHub, enterprise software development, you name it. Um, if you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.